Atoms, isotopes, protons and neutrons. As you probably know, atoms have a nucleus that, that's made up of protons and neutrons. Protons have a charge of plus one and have a mass of one atomic mass unit. We'll get to that in a minute. Neutrons have zero charge and a mass of about one atomic mass unit. Remember that atoms are always neutral, so the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons. The number of protons defines the identity of the element. So, for example, carbon always has six protons, but it can have different number of neutrons. Species that have the same number of protons and different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. For example, carbon has three common isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. It can be written in another way, where the mass number is the superscript. And for example, since carbon-12 always has six protons, the subscript 6, which you sometimes see, but is usually omitted. So carbon-12 has six protons, and therefore it must have six neutrons. And that's where the number 12 comes from. This is called the mass number, given the symbol A sometimes. Carbon-13 has six protons, and therefore seven neutrons. And carbon-14 must have eight neutrons. So the existence of isotopes explains why atomic masses that you see on the periodic table are often not whole numbers. So for example, carbon-12 is the major isotope of carbon, but yet the mass number here is not a whole number. This is the atomic mass. And instead of being the, ma the number of protons plus neutrons, is the weighted average mass of naturally occurring isotopes. So we, we define one atomic mass unit as one twelfth of the mass of carbon-12. And since nine, almost 99% of carbon is carbon-12, and about 1% is carbon-13, with a very small amount being carbon-14, it makes perfect sense that the atomic mass, the weighted average of those isotopes, is a little over 12. If we look at bromine, for example, its atomic mass is almost 80. But yet, there are no isotopes of bromine that have a mass number of 80. If we look at the mass spectrum of bromine, we see there are two isotopes of about equal abundance, one with a mass of 79 and one with a mass of 81. And they're of more or less equal abundance, which makes sense then that the atomic mass of bromine is about 80.